we are ready to download our uh, project to the controller to get the next level of checking of, of uh, uh, the communication to the compact HMI from the controller. So what I do is that I open the test project for more information about how to build project in Com Control Builder when I mean, we have the, the online training. So I've just built a small project that, that just have a single value that will continuously change so that I can show you how we can get connected with the controller from the HMI and verify that we have, uh, have data updated. So what I do, I open the project and I just make a download to the controller. <coughs> Uh, so now I've downloaded the uh, application and uh, I'm now ready to connect to the application from the compact HMI. We will now take the next step and check that we have the right firmware in the controller. And if, up, uh, if not, we will upgrade the firmware. So what I do now is that I start the control builder, the compact control builder. And um, in the control builder, we, we go to tools, maintenance, and remote system to get connected to, to the controller. And uh, we say show remote systems, and we get the list of, of uh, uh, the controllers. And we select the one, the 151 that we just have connected to. Say OK. And then we say we would like to show firmware information. This also gives us the opportunity to actually download firmware. And in this case, we can see that we have the correct firmware in the controller. That's why we don't have the possibility to select the new version and, and then select download and press the download key. This is, well, typically the case when you get a new control builder and a new um, a controller that you don't have to upgrade the firmware. So. Based on this, you can actually upgrade the firmware and then you're ready to start building your control builder project.